No, no, I don't want it! I don't deserve it! This is as good a place to hide as any! All set for Operation Spotlight, Cedric? <clears throat> Get me out of here! Now! Surprise, Cyril Sneer! Because it's your turn to answer the question of your life! This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoon. Night in the Evergreen Forest is the time when mysteries unfold. And everyone knows, when the game's afoot, Burt Raccoon is there to play. All set for Operation Spotlight, Cedric? Oh, I sure am, Burt. Tax Assessor arriving. Eight o'clock tonight. Please make sure you are available to take delivery of important tax documents. There's only one way to deal with the tax department. I'll skip town. Maybe I can find a nice tax shelter and move in. All right, everything's ready. Just make sure Cyril doesn't catch on. And don't let Pop out before you get there. Okay. Uh, Pop. We were wondering if... Don't bother me. Uh, I've got to get to the car. But don't worry, Cedric. I'll send for you. If Operation Spotlight is going according to plan, the boss should be arriving right about... <clears throat> get me out of here! Now! Yes, sir! This is as good a place to hide as any. Where are we, anyway? Cyril Sneer? Huh? Yeah, surprise, Cyril Sneer. Because it's your turn to answer the question of your life. Hey, uh, here's potato chips for anybody who wants them. I see Operation Spotlight was a success. <laughs> I have to admit, it's a novel idea for a Father's Day gift. Well, you know how hard it is to buy something for the man who has everything. Well, Mr. Sneer, I'm Dirk Dassey, and I'll bet you're surprised. Well, I... Uh, I'm uh, sure uh, you know the rules of the game, yeah, but we'll have a quick review for our studio audience. Yeah, we're going to surprise you with voices from your past. You must identify these voices, yeah, listen to their stories about your life, and answer their questions. You ready, Cyril? I'm ready, all right. I'm ready to leave. This is the dumbest idea for a game show that I've ever and heard of. And each correct answer earns you $10,000. Ah! What are you waiting for? All right, Cyril. And do you recognize this voice? Oh, Mr. Sneer. Lady Van Bat. Ooh, bang on, Cyril. Do you remember, Cyril, that golden moment when I asked, now, who would like to dance? You made Moxie so jealous. I always knew Cyril was a dashing and romantic figure. Cyril Sneer? Getting married? Cyril? Nah, couldn't be. <laughs> he ain't the type. You're playing with fire, Sneer. And you're gonna get burned. Yes, he always had a strong sense of drama and romance. And he never demonstrated it more clearly than on that foggy, foggy morning of the duel when he and Mr. Knox met on the field of honor for my hand in marriage. 
<laughs> According to the rules, the first challenger to find a rare evergreen lake clam pearl and return is the winner. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck, Pop. Pop must really be in love with Lady Baden Baden. He doesn't even know how to swim. Second zero. of your life. Does this voice ring a bell? Howdy, Mr. Sneer. That's Herman the Hound, who cheated me out of a billion barrel big buck oil deal. Bingo! Yes, sir. Cyril Sneer wanted my swamp. He was gonna drill for oil. I thought there was nothing I could do. Five more minutes and you'll be an oil magnet. A magnet, sir. I don't see why we have to wait. Give me those scissors. Mr. Sneer, we must wait until five o'clock sharp. Rules are not made to be broken. I hate rules. If there's another person who claims this swamp, we must be fair. Look out! Oh, no! Don't worry. This is a shortcut. Follow me. trespassing on uh, Herman Zachariah Stroll's swamp. And that's the law, Mr. Sneer. If not for him, I'd have been a one-man oil cartel. My question of your life, Cyril, is by how many seconds did you miss owning Beaver Bat Swamp? That's easy. How can I ever forget? Well, we all hope you haven't seen because the correct answer is worth $10,000. And if you get this wrong, you lose everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? Now you tell me I missed owning Beaver Bite Swamp by, well, it was, uh, food, chewing, eating, eating, eight seconds! You got $20,000, Cyril! Do you want to go for another ten? Go, 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 go for it, Cyril! I think I'll go for it, Dirk. Oh, way to go, Cyril! And now, for our next mystery guests. Yes, who? Eggs! Oh, on the money, Cyril! The boss has always encouraged us to do our best. He uses a hands-on approach. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that this medicine didn't make you feel any better, sir? He's always been fair, but firm. But, sir, he's... he's scary! Scary? What does that make me, Mr. Nice Guy? <laughs> no, sir. Then get going before I turn you into a set of matched luggage. And the boss is always quick with a compliment. Go take a shower. You smell like... Pigs. You look, smell, and are pigs. He makes sure we get plenty of quality recreational time. <laughs> this is it, guys. The gig is up. What are you talking about? This. It's a bill from the Mammoth Power Company. So, we have time to go. But, but this is a final notice. If this bill is not paid now, your power will be cut off. Absolutely right, Cyril! That's another $10,000! Okay, Cyril, we're coming up to the final jackpot round. Worth $20,000! If you win this round, you could walk away with $50,000! Are you going for it, Cyril? You bet your pearly whites I am, Dirk! Oh, 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 that's what I like to hear, Cyril. Stay tuned for more of the question of your life. This week featuring Cyril Sneer, coming to you live from Evergreen Studios. Well, Cyril, are you ready to carry on to the final round of the question of your life? Piece of cake! Let's have our next mystery guest. Hey, Pop! Henrik! Way to go, Cyril! All right, Cyril. Let's see if you know the next question of your life. 
everyone thinks they know what Cyril Sneer is all about. The big money, Cedric, goes only to the big players. Gee, Pop, I don't know. Cedric, you do want to be in the majors, don't you? Sure. You do want to sign your name at the bottom of a big, fat contract, don't you? Gee, Pop, I don't care about the money. I just want to be a mammoth mud hen. You will be a mammoth mud hen with a mammoth contract. <laughs> I'll get you the finest equipment money can buy. Well, don't just stand there, Cedric. Get to work. Uh, sure, Pop. Right away. He always tries his best to look out for me. The leadoff hitter for the Evergreen Giants is Cedric Sneer. Wait till you see my son at bat, Mammoth. You'll be naming a candy bar after him. That baseball game was important to you. Admit it, Pop. It wasn't just the money. And as we head to the top of the ninth, the Evergreen Giants come to bat down five to nothing. And this is their last chance, folks. This team has come to life. Two runs, and the bases are still loaded. Look at the boss. He's giving him the secret sign to steal. No, wait. Now he wants you to stay. No, it's steal again. Huh? Trade it? Signing bonus yet, Mammoth? <laughs> but you know, there's another side to my pop. Remember the time you were frightened by the return of Carl Snarl and we ended up hanging from the roof? Oh, do you hear something, Cedric? Look, it's Ralph. We're saved. Maybe not. There's no stabilizer. Land before it's too late. Just hold on. Melissa. He's a madman, I tell you. He'll stop at nothing to get me. Have no fear, sir. I'll activate the fans. Fear? Fear? I'm afraid of nothing. Look at my head. Steady as the economy. I won't be taken alive, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. oh. Shut down all systems! But, sir, security! That's my son out there! That was nice, Pop. You've always wanted what's best for me. Cedric, what do you think you're doing? Oh, hi, Pop. I'm baking a cake. It's for the Young Aardvark Society bake sale. Hmm. To all mothers of young aardvarks, once again, we ask you to contribute baked goods for our annual sale. Do you want me to help? Nah, Pop. I'm doing all right. Maybe I, I could hire someone to do this sort of thing. Nah, I like doing it. Why don't you go out and buy a nice cake? Nah, it just wouldn't be the same. Well, do you want me to come along to the bake sale? Oh, no, that's all right, Pop. I know you don't like those things. Uh, well, buy me your cake at the bake sale. Pops, see if you can get a good deal. <laughs> sure, Pop. Yes. Well, as soon as you're finished, <clears throat> come on upstairs and cook some books. <laughs> Will do, Pop. <sighs> I'm only a pop. Whether you admit it or not, Pop, sometimes you're a pretty nice guy. Anyway, Pop, my question of your life is, in the game with the Mammoth Mud Hens, what was the score at the top of the ninth inning? And remember those rules, Cyril. Yeah, we must have the correct answer, or you lose everything. I know that one. Um, uh, five nothing. Uh, what was that, Cyril? Wait, it was, it was a golf club. Oh, <laughs> oh, what's the matter with? What's that, Cyril? We must have your answer. Four. Four nothing for the mud hen! Oh, Cyril! Oh.
wrong. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you lost. Oh, that easy money. God, maybe the boss will look on the bright side. I mean, after all, he still has his health. You will, because you've been one heck of a contestant. Yeah, we're going to give you one more chance. For a consolation prize, Cyril, all you have to do is identify this person. Does this number mean anything to you? 246B slash LD. My tax form number! The tax man? Oh, that's right, Cyril. It is the tax man. And here's your consolation trophy. Oh, gosh, that'll look nice on the mantelpiece. Mr. Sneer, it's my very great pleasure to present you with this official communication from the tax department. No, no, I don't want it! I don't deserve it! You don't want it? Of course I don't want it! Can you think of anybody that would want it? Certainly I can. Might I suggest the Evergreen Orphans Fund? Fine! Give it to them! The Evergreen Orphans Fund? You saw it here, ladies and gentlemen. Cyril Sneer is turning over his $50,000 tax refund to the Evergreen Orphans Fund. What a guy! Did you say refund? I'm real sorry you lost the grand prize, Cyril. And giving that $50,000 tax refund to the orphans? That was beautiful, Pop. It was the least I could do. Why don't you boys run along now? Your Pop has really changed, Cedric. Uh, I can remember when this sort of thing would have driven him nuts. It was just a gig. That's all. Just... A game!